today I wanted to discuss the word simp and the act of simping and how I would be glad when this word is canceled as people like to say now. I just I hate how the word simp is attached to a man that's being a man that's treating a woman how she should be treated and how it's looked down upon to love your woman, praise your woman, to spoil your woman with like or you're being seen as like oh you're a trick or oh like the the favorite you're a simp and I just always wondered, like, how the hell is that being a simp because this man is treating his woman how she should be treated? And I typically only see people that treat their women like complete, absolute shit who tend to say this. These are men who have never who've never done anything for a woman or they feel like taking her out to eat or bringing her food is is doing the utmost or something. So I kind of just take it with a grain of salt when I, I see people say it, but it's just really sad how not even males, but even other females view men who are nice, who are, you know, the nice guy or a gentleman, they view them as simps. When I was in, and this is like, I guess people would consider like puppy love or whatever, because this would be when I was in with my, what they would call a high school sweetheart. When I was with him, I'm pretty sure based off the way he, you know, acted towards me, he would be classified as a simp. He was just, oh my God, his parents did an amazing job. They did a stellar job raising him and his little brother. Like those, they are just, they're like gentlemen. They are very respectful. They're very courteous. They have no problem if they feel like a woman is worth it. They have no problem investing in that woman's happiness. They have no problem, you know, when they see value, you know, in that woman. They they just they have no problem just going all out and being unapologetic about it. And I absolutely love that about them. Like they definitely were raised great. And I know like he was just he was he had like that was Looking back now that I'm older and I've experienced things and went through some things, I can honestly say that was probably the best relationship I had ever been in. And it's sad to say because that was like a little a little teeny bot relationship. That was a little puppy love relationship as some people would call it. But looking back, that was the best relationship I have ever been in in my life. Like that's like my standard for a relationship now that I'm older. And it's crazy because I was the type of of girl, like, he was two years older than me. Um, So he was, of course, naturally, he was always steps ahead of me when it came to love and stuff like that. Like, he saw a future with me. You know, he would say, oh, you know, we're going to get married. We're going to have kids. We're going to do this and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, boy, let's go to the mall this weekend. Like, what are you, what are you talking about? I'm not marrying you. (laughs) What? So he just, he was, he was very like firm and stern about that. Like he made it obvious to me from jump, not even necessarily just about me, but just in general, he was a family man. He wanted a big family. He wanted, you know, a whole bunch of kids. He wanted to get married. He want, he wanted all of that. He wanted like that happy ending, like that fairy tale life. He wanted that. He always made that very clear to me. And he was just, he was so sweet, y'all. He was just so super, super sweet. And I was such a little bitch to him. I was so mean to him. I would just like <laughs> wake up and I'd just be like, I just literally, I would just text him and be like, you know what? This is not going to work. I need a break. I need some space. I feel like we should go our separate ways. And I did that like all the time. We were together, I think, for like a total of, I want to say like three years maybe. And at that time, that that was the longest relationship I had been in. Honestly, that was the longest relationship I've been in, period, if we being quite frankly honest. And I was just, we, we were on and off and it was because of me. He never did anything. He never broke up with me. Wait, no, that's a lie. He broke up with me once. And that was like... The, the very first time we broke up, he actually did that. But I really didn't care because I didn't want to be with him anyway. So I was just like, you know, okay, well, bye. Like, the fuck? So outside of that, like, I was just, I was so wishy-washy with him. And looking back, I'm like, I don't even know how he dealt with me, why the hell he dealt with me. Like, boy, what the hell? 
I was just, oh my gosh, I was just horrible to him. And he was so sweet. Like he would always want to, he would want to spoil me. And I always refuse. I would never accept gifts from him. When we would like go out, I would never let him pay for me. You know, sometimes he would just have to pay first so that he could be the one to pay for me and him. Like, I just, I always refuse. And that was an issue I started having as I got into my adult years, like refusing help, especially for men. Like, I just, I never wanted to be seen as a, a, a gold digger. I never wanted to be seen as a woman that can't do for herself, that, you know, doesn't have her own. So I just like took on this, like, just overly independent woman persona (laughs) where I felt like you know I don't need a man for nothing I mean I really I don't but I do so that that outlook on that has definitely changed I don't but I do but I know in those relationships where he you know he was trying to spoil you know he wanted to spoil me he would always try to buy me gifts for my birthday for valentine's day for christmas and we did eventually we did used to exchange gifts for christmas I was okay with that but I was never comfortable with him spending too much money on me um I think it all just stemmed from me like a I ain't gonna say insecurity within myself but just me not wanting to give anybody the satisfaction of being able to throw something in my face about what they did for me, what they gave me or anything like that. I feel like a a part of why I prevented him from just being the amazing partner he was trying to be to me had a lot to do with that and some other issues that I was dealing with, you know, but I mean, he, I mean, he like opened doors, like he would like, he was a ride or die legit. He would do whatever for me. If I call him in the middle of the night and wanted to talk, he would do that. I mean, I never did that, but I knew he would do that. I knew I could lean on him. I could turn to him. He would vent to me. I would vent to him. It it was just everything. And he was like, because he was a family man, he always wanted to hang out, wanted me to hang out with his family, do like family outings. I was just not a big family person. I really didn't care to do that. I just like being in my own zone, in my own space. Um, but he was just everything that I'm starting to like see that a lot of women seek and look for in a man in a relationship. He was all of it. He didn't mind dropping money on me. He didn't mind, you know, help, help him provide for me. He, he was a protector. He didn't mind protecting me, standing up for me, defending me. He had my back. I never once had to question his intentions. I never once had to question his loyalty or anything and I didn't look at him like oh my god like you're so lame like be mean to me like cheat on me do something I I never was like that I just he was a bit too emotional for me he was a bit too emotional um and among other things that was just reasons why I just I could not like I couldn't just stay in the relationship but a person like him, the type of man that he is, and I'm sure he's he's now married with a family of his own, and I'm so happy for him. I'm so geeked for him, and I'm pretty sure he's even more of a phenomenal person and a mate and a spouse because, you know, he's gotten even older, and, you know, he's evolved. He's, you know, all of that. So I really do feel like it's men like him that get, for whatever reason, they get, they're so disrespected for doing what they're supposed to do as men and I just don't understand that I don't understand this whole simp culture or simp shaming (laughs) but I don't I don't get it like why is a man being punished or mocked or insulted for simply being a man to his woman and why are other men so bothered and so pressed and so upset about how another man chooses to treat his woman, especially if he's treating his woman right. And his woman is, you know, bragging about it. His woman is, you know, flaunting that she has her a good man. Why does it bother people so much? Why, especially like females, like why, why do females feel like they don't want, it's always like the bad boy. They don't want the nice guy. Oh, he too nice. What the hell is too nice? So you want a motherfucker that's finna go upside your head, that's finna cheat on you and constantly have you out here fighting different women, looking stupid as hell, like, them seems to be the women, the women, them seems to be the men that a lot of women attract, like are attracted to. And it blows me. I don't know if it's because a lot of them want to be the woman that he changes for and they, they stay, they chasing after that. 
so they can feel like they have one up on the other females that he talked to. They want to say, I was the one he changed for. I made him do better. I made him be a better man, blah, 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 blah. I don't get it. I don't understand it. And I hate that word. I hate that because it's like you're you're mocking like what love should look like. But in the same breath, you want to look. It's like it's weird because especially when it comes to the women, women will mock and a, a, a man like that and call him lame and he's corny and this and this and that. But in the same breath, they're seeking out those very same traits in the men that they're trying to be with. But they know they're getting with these no good ass men. And it's like they're trying to force this. It's like they want the nice guy in the quote unquote simps personality and traits and ways. But they want it from the no good ass dude. And wonder why they can't keep a relationship. Wonder why they feel like they always get done wrong. And then I've noticed them are normally the girls. Like the women that go after these these men that they know aren't ain't about shit. And not doing nothing with themselves. And are just running through women. And have nothing going for themselves. Them be the women that be on social media. All damn day. Bashing men. Saying how men ain't no good. All men are cheaters. But no girl. you It's the type of man that you're going after. Because you're so turned off or for some reason disgusted by what y'all want to call simps you'd rather go get played over and over again go get take advantage of used and abused by a man you know one about shit from jump and then want to turn around and try to generalize and bash all men because your ass don't don't want to go after the man that actually is going to treat you right. And it'd be so weird and it'd be so crazy because a lot of these women who do that, who constantly go after these men, they don't do nothing but disrespect them and, and play with them and all of that and take advantage of them. They had, they be having the man of their dreams, the man that they're looking for right in their damn face. But that's the one that they friends on. That's the one that they like, mm, nah, I don't see nothing with him. And I, I was guilty of that. I wasn't chasing after any dude and I wasn't getting involved in constant relationships or <laughs> situations where I was dealing with the man who was not treating me right. I simply was just staying single. I was staying single, but I was also starting to desire, you know, a good man. I was starting to desire a man who would spoil me and who would treat me right, who I didn't have to question, who I knew would have my back, who I knew would do everything that a man is supposed to do for his woman, for a woman that he loves, for a woman that he values. I had it like I had it and I fucking fumbled it. But in the same in the same breath, I don't I don't really feel bad about it simply because I knew I was not attracted to that person in that way. I knew if I had have stayed with him just based off the type of person he was. I would have been depriving him of the love and everything that he should have been getting as a man in return because I wouldn't have reciprocated that. I wouldn't have done that. He would have eventually like peeped like she she wasn't really happy with me. Like she don't don't want to be here. So I did. I constantly told him like, we're not going to end up together. We're not going to be together. You need to find somebody that's gonna love you like you need to be loved that it's not gonna be me and I it was as if I felt bad in the sense that he really did not understand why I felt that way he felt like if I'm treating you right and I'm doing everything a man is supposed to do for a woman and you're acknowledging this and you're letting you're letting me know this why the hell is it not good enough for you it has to be something that I'm not doing right and I felt like he really sometimes would beat himself up about it when it came to me because he really did not understand why I didn't want to be with him and he was doing everything he should have been doing. And I couldn't really I couldn't really explain it to him other than like I'm just I just don't see myself with you in that way. And I'll never forget one of the the very last time when we call ourselves trying to rekindle something. And it was the same thing for me. I was just, I knew I was not attracted to this person in that way and that I would not be happy with them at the end. And it wasn't that they were a bad person, 
they were great. They were awesome. I just, it could, it, it was a situation where, like I just explained, I wanted everything that he was doing, but I wanted it from somebody else. And I didn't have a somebody else. I didn't know who that somebody else was, but I knew I wanted a man like him. But I didn't want him per se. Like I didn't want him in particular. But I wanted somebody just like him. I wanted I wanted him, but in a different man's body. And I'm not I don't know. I was just young and dumb. Just not not even young and dumb, just naive. Not realizing not even naive, but just you I'm young, so I'm not experienced. So I don't even realize what I have in front of me. I don't realize this like I got the whole package in front of me and you know he the like I said one of the the last times we broke up when it was like official official like we're done we're done I will never forget once again I gave him the whole damn speech about how he's a great person and he didn't do anything wrong I'm just not attracted to him I don't want to be with him he needs to go off and be with somebody else so that he can you know get everything that he deserves as far as in a relationship goes, because he won't be able to get that from me. And I don't want to destroy a good person who's been nothing but genuine and nice and sweet and kind and showed me, you know, just unconditional love. I didn't want to destroy a person like that and break a person like that down because I wasn't ready to be with them or I I knew I didn't want to be with them. But he told me, after my little speech that I gave, my long ass paragraph telling him that he basically just ended it with like, he was like, that's cool. You know, I'm used to you saying this, blah, blah, blah. But trust me, you're going to wish you had somebody like me. It may not be now. It may not, you know, be, you know, a year from now or so. But he was like, eventually you're going to wish you had somebody like me. And boy, was I offended. I was like, I went off. I mean, I ain't went off as far as cursing him out or anything, but you know, I'm like, boy, don't ever say nothing like that to me. Don't act like I can't find anything better than you. And girl, just going to hell in like an idiot. And what's funny is that shit came back full circle because I'm sitting here now. He, this all transpired when I was what? I want to say 18. I was 18 at this point, so he was getting ready to turn 20. I'm now getting ready to be 29. And those words haunt the fuck out of me because I'm like, this man was right. I'm now in a situation where I do wish I had somebody like him. I'm looking for somebody like him. And it took damn near a decade for me to make that realization. I'm not looking for him, but I am looking for someone like him. And I didn't realize a a man like him comes a dime a dozen. Like, it's just, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. I, I did not realize that because at that time, I'm I'm 18 years old. Like, I'm still a kid in a way. Like, I don't, I don't know nothing about nothing. I haven't, you know, experienced anything in life. All I know is I just felt like, oh, my God, like, he's, ir-. like, I found his quote, unquote, simping. I found it irritating. I was just like, ugh, like, why are you always trying to buy me stuff? Why are you always trying to do this and that with me? Why are you always all up on me? Why do you, you know, do all of this? Like, he he bragged on me. Like, he, oh, my God. Like, I was just, like, everything to him. And I did not, I definitely took that for granted. And I didn't appreciate it. And his words came back to bite me in the ass. Like, it really did. And I'm just like. I don't know if I'll ever see a a bond like that, a love like that, a genuine love like that, a connection like that. I'm not sure if I'll ever find something like that again in this lifetime. I feel like I I may come across something similar, but I don't know if I'll ever find something like exactly like that. But that just goes to show you, I mean, and then look at him, like, even though I did eventually go off to get married and start a family as well, you know, my stuff didn't work out. My, my marriage, all of that didn't work out. He is now, you know, he's married. He has beautiful children. It seems to be like he has a great wife. 
they're they've started a life together they're building a life you know well duh they've started a life they're married but they're building a life together they seem to be doing absolutely phenomenal in life and I could not be more happier for him because I'm like this is what I was telling him when I said this is what he needed he's he's going to be with somebody who's going to reciprocate all of that love and, and and loyalty and just everything that he was giving me that I wasn't appreciating that I wasn't being receptive of or being accepting of so I just really wish this whole simp shit would just stop I mean I know it's not the internet is the internet people gonna say how they opinions and like I said I really don't pay attention to it because it's typically coming from a motherfucker that's not gonna do shit that does not see value in women or their partner in general anyway it's coming from somebody that feels like the best thing a girl could ever get from him to show that he really cares about her is a goddamn number two from fucking McDonald's. So I really don't trip off of it because it's very telling who believes in these things and the type of people that they are. But what's funny is they're the same ones. The ones that feel like it's simping to do that for a woman are the same ones who look for women to pretty much to pretty much spoil them. That's what's crazy. They're the very ones who look for women. They feel like, oh, if, if you, you know, you, I'm not just going to be doing this for you, doing that for you. You need to do something for me. And if you ain't doing nothing for me, then I don't need you, blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, but you're the same one that feel like treating me like a damn woman is me asking for too much. And that's something you're not willing to do. And you was, you would be a simp or you would be a sucker or you would be lame if you actually loved a woman and treated her right. Because I, I truly believe in the statement where if you love somebody, if you genuinely, you know, love somebody, you know, they'll love you better. Like, they'll love you more. Like, I promise if you treat me, if you treat me right, I'm going to treat you better. That is a true statement. If you are genuinely loving somebody and pouring yourself into somebody, they're going to peep that. Now, not everybody. I ain't, you know, ain't going to say that. Because in my situation, I didn't do that. This person was pouring love into me, invest, trying to invest in my happiness, you know, wanting to be with me, expressing themselves like they were true to every word that they said to me. And I didn't treat them better. If anything, I, I just I didn't appreciate them. I didn't appreciate them. I didn't see I ain't gonna say I didn't see any value in them, but I just. I, it, it, how they were treating me wasn't, I don't know, it just, it, it, it didn't, it didn't click in my head back then. But now that I'm older and I'm pushing 30, I feel like, damn, dude, like, dude was right. So the next quote unquote simp I come across and he shows interest in me and he's pouring all of this into me, pouring all this love and he's loving up on me and he want me and He's, you know, telling me and showing me he's not just talking to talk. He's actually walking the walk. I'm on it. Like, I'm on it. He's going to be locked in. That's going to be it. But I really hope we can get to a point as a society where we're not shaming men from doing what they're supposed to do as men when it comes to treating a woman right. 